You'll remember that I did a video exposing the Glazers' strategy at Manchester United recently. If you haven't seen that, click. There's a little card that will pop up there. Go and watch that video. I explain how the Glazers' strategy at Manchester United now is based around a top four finish and not winning trophies anymore. And that has changed since the Glazers came in. And in this video, I want to go a step further and prove to you how the Glazers are thieves at Manchester United and have been thieves since they bought the club on a leveraged buyout deal back in 2005 using excellent research conducted by Swiss Ramble. Even in buying the club, the Glazers were leeches. And I want to show you exactly why with all the numbers in this video. So please make sure you like the video. Please make sure you share it because Glazers out. <sighs> Will these videos make any sort of difference? I don't know, but I'm not just going to sit by and ignore as it happens. So I want to talk about it in this video with you and show you with numbers and evidence the true scale of the thievery at United that has happened under the Glazers' ownership since 2005. I said in my last video that success at United in the last 15 years has not been because of the Glazers. It's been in spite of the Glazers and how Fergie, I feel, overachieved in comparison to the investment that he received alongside our rivals. And in this video, I'm going to focus on the Evidence that's provided with the numbers by Swiss Ramble. Make sure you follow the link in the description to their football blog. that They cover football in business and the numbers behind it. It's superb. It really, really is. So thank you very much to Swiss Ramble for doing this research. And for United fans, it's, it won't be an enjoyable video, but it's a video that we all need to watch, understand, share around, to really, truly understand the scale of the thievery that's happened at United since 2005. So as I said, this video is using the analysis by Swiss Ramble that covers the last five years from 2014-15 to 2018-19 and what happened with all 20 Premier League clubs. So let's take a look at all 20 at once to start with and look at the financing here. In the last five years up to 2018-19, Chelsea had 433 million investment. Man City, 133 million. Liverpool, 57 million. United, 169 million left the club. Where other owners are investing in their clubs, United, the Glazers are taken out of it. They are and have been and will continue to use the club as a cash cow. And I don't want to hear any bullshit about, oh, look how much United have spent on signings. Because as this shows, the money is still going outward. So the money on signings is relative to the amount of money that the Glazers are taking out of the club. But I tell you who has been invested in, the Glazers' pockets. Just look at this and try and find United on this list. Yep, we're right at the bottom. Whereas Chelsea have invested, United have paid nearly 90 millions directly to the Glazers through dividends. We are the only club to pay dividends to their owners. That West Brom number there is a bit of an anomaly that's not been on the accounts yet. But United have paid more to the Glazers than we paid for Harry Maguire, than we paid for Paul Pogba. And you're telling me that they're not thieves? Hmm. Maybe they're not thieves on paper, but we all know what they're using United for, and it's not to get us back to winning the Premier League again. And it's not just with the dividends that money is leaving United at a rapid rate. Have a look at this in terms of the external financing. United, as a net loss, £80 million left the club. Still, in 2020, 15 years after the Glazers bought United on a leveraged buyout deal because they did not have the money to buy the club up front, we are still suffering the consequences of that. And if you look at the numbers, it gets worse because it's not 80 million that's gone out on interest repayments. It's actually 120 million pounds. And the only reason Arsenal have got that 61 million is because they've got a stadium to pay for and so have Spurs. Whereas United, we're not paying for stadiums, we're paying for the fact that the Glazers bought our club on a loan because they could not afford to buy us in the first place. A, a payment structure for a, a buying a club which is now not possible to do because it's, it, it's not immoral. I mean, it is immoral, but it's fucked. They simply could not afford to buy United, so they used their assets in America as leverage, as their collateral in case they couldn't pay. Now, the banks are laughing about this. They've made hundreds and hundreds of millions from United in terms of interest repayments. The Glazers are laughing. 
over 111 million in the last five, six years alone in dividends. Then you look at the value of United that's gone up, they're gonna make hundreds of millions when they eventually do sell United. And the only losers here are Manchester United as a football club and the fans, because we're not a football club anymore. We are a business first. We are a cash cow for the Glazers, a hobby, a side project, a guaranteed 20 million per year in dividends. Happy days. We are not a football club first and foremost. And we've lost that because of the Glazers and their ownership structure of United. Just look at Man City at the same time. 133 million has been put into the club. Look at Liverpool. 57 million has been put into the club. Then look at United. And the numbers at this point are truly staggering. In the last five years, we paid 209 million pounds for the Glazier's ownership structure, 120 million plus 89 in dividends. And in fact, in the last 10 years, we have spent 838 million pounds on financing, 488 million on interest, 251 on debt repayments, and 99 million on dividends. And we took out a 140 million loan since the year end. Fuck the Glazers. Fuck their ownership of United and fuck what they've done to United since 2005. Fergie's success that he had with that incredible team between 2006 and 2009, arguably the best Premier League team we've had, that was not because of the Glazers. That was in spite of the Glazers. Somehow Fergie managed to do that and managed to rebuild a title winning team. In comparison to our rivals, we've had underinvestment since 2005. And this summer we sat there with Donny van der Beek and now we haven't signed Sergio Regulon because we wouldn't pay up front a big enough fee to get rid of that buyback clause. And instead we're going into the new season with one new signing that's not the priority signing. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as a manager has not been backed by his club. The one thing that Fergie called for when he left as manager. And the scale of the thievery. Look at those numbers again. Nearly half a billion in interest repayments alone. Nearly a billion has left in a lot. It just pisses me off that there are people that will sit there and say, oh, you signed Harry Maguire. Oh, you signed Aaron Wan-Bissaka. What are you complaining about? They really truly do not understand the scale and the structure of the thievery at United under the Glazers. Because when you look at these numbers like this, it's insignificant spending 50 million on Wan-Bissaka. It's insignificant spending 80 million on Harry Maguire in comparison to the significant thievery, I would call it, at United that's happened under the Glazers, the constant dividends, the interest repayments, the whole leverage buyout was a complete and utter farce. And there's nothing else I can really say about it. There's nothing I don't think that we can do about it. But it is important that we do not ignore it. As a set of fans, do whatever we can, whether that's getting a hashtag out, training Glazers out, Woodward out was trending, I think, this week. Do what we can. And all I can do is do videos that like this, that present the evidence, that show people, that help everybody understand the true scale of why the Glazers are such horrendous owners at Manchester United, how their top four model is now United's new strategy, and how much they've taken out of the club, and how any amount of signings can't hide that fact. Other clubs have invested around us in the same time frame, Chelsea, City and Liverpool, and they can continue to progress as clubs. But until the Glazers leave United, we've got shackles on. And we're not a football club anymore. We're a business first that so happens to have a football team playing on the pitch at Old Trafford. What is the cost of lies is what Aditya Reds asked in his latest Glazers video. And the cost there is quite apparent. 488 million on interest repayments. Nearly a billion going out of the club. 20 million plus in dividends per year. Uh, fuck the Glazers, man. That's all I've got to say. Please share this video. Please like it. Please continue to spread the word. It's all we can do. But you can't just sit by and pretend that nothing is wrong at United when everything really at the core is rotten and still is.